uh, do you want to make an expressive teapot? And if you want to make an expressive teapot, what kind of expressive teapot do you want to make? Do you want to make something where you um, complain about something? Do you want to make something where you want to comment about something? Do you want to tell a story? Handle, lit, spout and body. But each one of them give you a different feeling. In the same way that you don't want your teapot to explode, you don't want that lid to fall off and burn somebody's hands. But if we want to keep tea hot, it does not need that much of an opening at the top. Now there's two things about this lid. I want for it to fit over there because we are going to make a cap lid and I want for it to fit in there. Anything that you do, you throw it from the inside. Any form, even your hand built pieces. The, f the interior form predicts what the exterior form is going to be. This is specifically made for teapot. Wet a piece of paper. When we start out with a caplet, we're basically dealing with a block of clay like that. In this case, it's going to be the block that we create over here. I do want to touch as much of the clay particles as I possibly can. The flange will fit into the hole and the cap will go over the piece. But the reason why this one is not so successful is because if I would put four fingers in there, then my fingers are going to touch the liquid that's in there. And the liquid that's in this teapot is going to burn my hands. <laughs> 